everyone, how are you today? Cheryl here, coming at you from my home in Texas. Today, I wanna to talk about perspective. As many of you know, my family home is located in a small town in Texas. About 1,300 people are in our city limits. So our points of view is a little different as opposed to living in New York City. The beautiful thing for me is that I've been able to live many places in my life. I've lived in Colorado, I've lived in California, I've lived in New Mexico, I've lived in uh, Georgia, um, all over the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, Austin. So I've lived a lot of different places and uh, as a former flight attendant, I traveled a lot. One of my favorite places is Montana, I love Montana, and I'll be there later on this summer. But the other day, my four-year-old grandson was here and we were standing in the front yard and I live on a farm to market road. And if you don't know what farm to market road is, that is a, it's an FM and then a number. The farm to market road was designed years ago, as I understand, for the farmers to travel to take their products to market, okay? So we were uh, standing in the front yard <laughs> And two tractors, one with round bales of hay and another one with uh, some cattle, uh, travel down the road. And my grandson says, what the heck? Tractors on the road? <laughs> we just thought that was hysterical. Because from his four-year-old perspective, why are there tractors on the road? Because he lives in the city. So he doesn't see that sort of thing. So I did explain to him what, what they were doing. Same thing goes for our lives. You know, with all of the turmoil that's going on in the world right now, from my perspective, I don't know what it's like to be a man. I don't know what it's like to be a police officer. I don't know what it's like to serve in the military. I don't know what it's like to be a black woman. Although I did find out that I am 4% African, but on the same token, by looking at me, I'm a Caucasian woman. I feel like myself, I am very open-minded and I do feel like I try to look at things from other person's perspectives. So I'm gonna ask everyone today, you know, we can't change other people. We really can't, but we can change our outlook on things. I do think the key is to get out there and be educated, to volunteer and to vote. Those three things will change your perspective or also change someone else's perspective about you. I had an experience this week where I, had, I was able to do that. A man was really coming at me politically. And once he looked into me and looked into my background and why I support Black Lives Matter, he understood me. So I was able to at least talk to him. He said, well, I wish now we had always talked instead of bantered on social media. But anyway, I'm asking everyone today to look at other people's perspectives. Put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel if you were discriminated against? If you were teased, if you were bullied, if you were harassed as a woman. I've had some Me Too moments. I really have. So think about those things and, and remember that we're all the human race and just continue to try to love everyone. I love you all. Hey, remember, keep creating, keep sharing, keep liking, and more than anything, keep subscribing. Talk to you soon.